In our previous video, we covered the fundamentals of infrared radiation. Today we will explore how thermal cameras operate, specifically how guide SenseMart thermal cameras identify radiation and transform it into a visible image. Here's a step-by-step -step breakdown of the process. Step 1. Detection. Thermal camera's lens focuses infrared radiation from all objects in the scene onto an infrared detector. Step 2. Conversion. The detector converts the infrared radiation into an electrical signal. Step 3. Processing. Thermal camera's processor translates these signals into a thermogram, which is a visual representation of temperature differences. Step 4. Display. The thermogram is then displayed on the camera's screen, featuring a color gradient that indicates different temperatures. Now that you understand how thermal cameras work, it's important to note their various applications. They are used in industrial inspections to detect abnormal heat points. In building maintenance, thermal imaging devices are used to identify heat losses caused by poor insulation or air leaks. Additionally, for security purposes, thermal cameras can detect the presence of intruders in low light or adverse weather conditions. But what makes them so remarkable? Here are some notable features. Visibility in darkness. Infrared radiation is unaffected by visible light and can be detected even at night allowing thermal cameras to operate in both day and night conditions. Passive detection. Thermal cameras passively sense the infrared radiation emitted by objects, making them detectable. Adaptability to harsh conditions. Thermal cameras can identify objects in darkness and penetrate through fog, dust, rain, shadows, and glare from the sun. Detection camouflaged objects. Thermal imaging captures the temperature differences between a target and its surroundings facilitating the detection of camouflaged items. Long-distance target detection. Some targets are strong sources of thermal radiation, allowing thermal cameras to detect them from farther distances compared to visible light. So the next time you view a thermal image, you'll understand that it's the infrared radiation at play. Thank you for watching, and remember to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating content.